Science Central. Global warming is not just about polar bears and melting ice. Scientists now say it's likely to cause a long-term global food crisis that dwarfs the current crisis. Climate and food security researchers showed that higher growing season temperatures will lower crop yields, first in the tropics and subtropics. You're talking about very large reductions in, in yields on the order of 20, 30, 40 percent. David Battisti is lead author of a study in the journal Science that used the climate models that earned the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change a share of the Nobel Prize. It found that near the end of this century, hotter growing season temperatures will become a perpetual threat to agriculture. Battisti says the earliest and biggest impact will be in some of the world's poorest countries. You're talking about very large reductions in yields in places where population is very dependent on agricultural today. And it's a place that uh, right now today uh, there's a billion people that are malnourished. The average summer temperature for a given place forms a bell-like curve. The researchers found that over time the curve moves to a hotter range, making future average summers as hot or hotter than the warmest recorded to date. In a sense you can say that the climate of the end of this century is really out of bounds from any experiences um, to date. Battisti says in the tropics and subtropics, including the southernmost portions of the United States, the chances of this occurring are better than 90 percent, and that in the central U.S., the nation's breadbasket, there's a 60 percent chance. Brad Closa, Science Central News.